Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, or Beige and Canadian here with a little video 600 update. I got a few things I'd like to share with you guys, and for the most part, this video is going to be brief. Hopefully, my rambling doesn't take over. We shall see. And the first thing on the agenda is 600 videos in. How's the channel doing? What do you guys think? What's your favorite thing you've seen so far? And how can I improve myself? That's what I'm always aiming to do, is improve the content I'm putting out. And I don't mean all of a sudden do super massive production quality on every single video I release, because if that was the case, I would never be able to provide you guys with daily videos like I do, but if you have any suggestions or, or feedback or criticisms for what I'm doing now, I would love to hear it, because that's the only way I can make this channel better for you guys to watch, enjoy, and stick around to in the long run. So that's the first thing I want to mention. The second thing is a new channel structure. What I want to aim for, guys, is to have three Minecraft videos uploaded per day, and uh, those videos would consist of typically a mini game video like a Battle Dome, Battle Fest, something along those lines. And uh, another video would be some kind of a spotlight or showcase of a mod, a map, some kind of creation that's out there in the community that I can share with you guys. You guys will enjoy. I'll have fun checking it out too. We can all have a good time that way. Maybe you guys can suggest some things I should check out. And then the third video would be something random, maybe a second mini game series that's running at the same time, or maybe my uh, Xbox 360 solo playthrough or something, just something else that I, I have for you guys in store that'll be a random third Minecraft video. So that's three Minecraft a day, every day, all day. And then the, uh, the next thing I want to talk about channel structure wise is tycoon videos. I know a lot of you want to see more Zoo Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon, which I do want to bring back because I have fun playing them and you guys enjoy watching them. So what I'm going to do or aim for to the best of my abilities is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I will release a tycoon video as part of a, a series I'll do. Maybe I'll continue the fun park or start a new Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 series. Something along those lines will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday you'll have a tycoon video released. And then on Sundays what I'm going to do is have a, a channel recap of what happened over the week. Maybe a mini series of a mini game ended that was really awesome that I want to kind of highlight the best moments of for you guys. Or maybe I had a video uploaded to Machinima or the video games channel that I want to share with you guys so I would point that out in the Sunday recap little uh, I guess highlight of all the week's happenings and then the other thing I want to do channel structure wise is uh, let you guys know about the Minecraft minigame live streams that are going to be happening every single Saturday this isn't something really specifically to do with my channel but it's a twitch TV account that is run in partnership between me and Matt from the Jolly Old Brits we're gonna really aim to make this something really really enjoyable and awesome and high production quality he's basically at the forefront of that I'm behind much of the promotion and uh, hopefully in the future collaborations with other directors and uh, commentators on YouTube who do Minecraft stuff so we're really aiming to make that big and enjoyable for all you guys so that is something I want to definitely continue to promote and every Saturday there will be a stream potentially two we're right now in the discussions and the talks of having a European version where he and his friends will host it and then a North American version later on in the same day where myself maybe Jerome Matt and Zach will join on and co-host with me a second event in that evening so you'll have two every Saturday potentially that's that's still in talks and discussions we will see how it goes there's a lot to do with plans on that and I'll have definitely more information on that in the future but for now I just want to remind you guys to once again if you haven't done so and you have a twitch tv account make sure you follow mini games because it's definitely something you will be enjoying and want to be in tune with and then the next thing i want to talk about is my minecraft server there's a lot of debate between what i should do with it because i haven't been promoting it as much as i should and that's because the actual host beast node is screwing us it's so laggy and not enjoyable, just awful to play on. So what we're hoping to do, or what I will be doing, not hoping to do, is changing hosts at the end of the month. So one more month of putting up with the lag for those of you who play, because I know there's a couple hundred of you guys who sign in the server, you know, maybe once, twice a week to play on it. So I do apologize on behalf of myself for uh, for all those mistakes, and I guess on behalf of Beast Snow because Beast Snow blows right now. So I do apologize to you guys who use the server, and uh, I will be definitely switching hosts and promoting it more, so it'll be a much more lively and eventful server. And then the other thing to do with servers is I'm going to be doing more casual live streams of the mini games as well, separate from the mini games channel, where I will have you guys get involved, and that will be something I'll have more information on in the future. For now, I just want to get it out there, let you guys know that I will be doing a lot more live streaming now because I have the potential to do it. No more school 
Twitch TV is a lot better now. There's just so much more reasons for me to be live streaming now. You guys love it. I love it. It's better for everybody. And like I said, no school. So I have a lot more free time now to mess around and have fun with those sorts of things. And then the next thing I want to talk about, guys, which is a category completely different from my channel structure, which I just discussed, is goals. I'm going to be starting to set a lot more goals for myself here on YouTube and I guess my social media presence as well, like Twitter and Facebook. What I'm aiming to do, guys, is definitely, at the very least on Twitter, gain a lot more followers. So those of you who are not aware that I actually have a Twitter account, which believe it or not, I'm sure there's a good portion of you guys who fall under that category of people not really too aware that I exist on Twitter, please click the links in the video details and go follow me there if you haven't, because what I'm going to be doing in the future is eventually I will no longer post the live stream promotional videos, so you will never know about them unless you follow me on Twitter or on like my Facebook page, whichever one you guys prefer to do. Personally, I think Twitter's a bit easier because it's it sends you emails to your phone and whatnot, and it doesn't intrude on, I guess, your personal life. Twitter's something kind of separate. It's like having a YouTube account, kind of, because it's not really where all your friends see what you're doing 24-7, whereas Facebook, whatever you post, whatever you like, your, your friends and family will see, which I know some of you guys don't really like. Your, and I, as weird as this sounds, I know some of you guys are embarrassed to be watching gaming YouTube videos, but hey, it's, it's part of your life. You should embrace it. You should love it, but regardless, I'm not going to force that onto you, but definitely Twitter if you have Twitter. Definitely follow me there, and what I'm going to do for goals in terms of that is I would love to reach 10,000 followers by the end of July, which is basically doubling the amount of followers I have now. I have almost 5,000, and I'd like to reach 10,000 by the end of July, which is plenty of time. That's two months down the road. And that's because I don't want to have to promote it via videos, all the live streams I do. I'd rather just say, here, check me out on uh, Twitch TV and just put a little link on Twitter. And that way I don't have to keep spamming your sub boxes. Unless you guys want me to do so, which I will be for the Saturday mini games events. I'll always be putting a YouTube promotional video. But for all my random sporadic casual ones, I'm going to try and avoid doing that. Because if I happen to do those on a daily basis, I don't want one of my videos every day to just be a spammy, you know, live stream, come watch me, I'm live now. That, to me, that's kind of a waste of your time. Time when you could just be following me on Twitter if you're someone who's interested in that and I get all the information and updates there it's just easier that way for the people who don't care now the next thing in terms of goals is YouTube where do I want my YouTube channel to go in theory I'd like it to skyrocket but that ain't gonna happen I mean who doesn't on YouTube want their channel to do really well but I'd like it to continue growing at a steady pace and potentially increase that steady pace right now we're getting about 200 subscribers a day here on the Beijing Canadian ideally I'd like to increase that to 300 by the end of July as well now that's that's not really too much of a, of a step, I guess, because it's only 100 more, a 33% increase, big dealio, and at the rate I'm going now, I don't see that being an issue, so you guys are all awesome, and this is where you guys come in, this is where I'm going to get excited and, and try and engage you guys a bit here, ratings, we need to keep beasting it on that, that is how the channel grows, that is how YouTube functions, the only way people's channels can grow is if you are supporting them, that is literally it, so if you like my videos, which I know you guys do, because you tune in every day to watch, Watch them and you want to be involved in the events the mini games the battle domes the battle fest the capture the wolves you guys all love it and you all want to participate but here's where you can always help me out and always be supportive is just by clicking that thumbs up button on my videos literally that is all it takes to spread my content and help me out and eventually help you because the more my channel grows and the better it's doing the more I guess uh, reason I have and the more influence you have on me to do certain things so for example if you want more live streaming and you rate all my videos that are live streamed then that will give me a little signal to go off saying hey I need to do these more often hey I need to do more open lobbies if that's the sort of things you guys want or if you don't thumb up a series that's a signal to me that I should stop making those because if you guys aren't enjoying them why should I upload them it's kind of a waste of both of our time so I'd rather just do what you guys want because I have fun regardless but if it's not fun for you guys it's not as fun for me because I like when you guys like my stuff and that's how the world of YouTube goes round and round and round so guys that's about it for this video I just want to recap what I discussed channel structure three Minecraft videos a day Monday Wednesday Friday tycoon the Sunday recap of everything that's happened over the week in terms of uploads to video games or machinima. The mini stream Twitch TV channel, I would highly encourage you to follow that because that's where the awesome high quality eSport, kind of like ESPN for Minecraft is going to eventually go down. And then of course the Minecraft server will be switching hosts to make it much more lag free and enjoyable for you guys. And then the goals, the channel goals, and the Twitter, Facebook goals as well as well as the ratings. Keep liking my videos, that's what I need, I love you guys.
and uh, I appreciate everything you guys do for me. It is really incredible to see you guys all here years after I've started YouTube, and it is, it's just awesome to see you guys supporting me. I really appreciate it, and I want it to keep happening, so that's why I keep throwing out all these thank you videos and update videos to just let you know that I, that I do appreciate it, that I do notice what you guys do, and uh, I thank you guys all for sticking with me and watching this update video to the very end, and if you have, let's go ahead and post a comment saying, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Pineapple penis. Wait, if we want to have a pineapple penis, how can we do this? Hold on. Boom. Oh, no, that's not... No, not what I want. I want the pineapple and the arrow. And I want to make the arrow go like... Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. We'll just... Let's, let's post pineapple DAC. DAC City, pineapple DAC. That's what I want to see in the comments section if you watch the whole way through. I appreciate the support, guys. You're all the best. And I'm out of here with a pineapple blast.